Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We have game two of our doubleheaders. The Hawks, are, you see, are being introduced right now. It's Jared Brown. You got Cole Early, who has done some great things this year, including a game winner at St. Joseph's. Long Island scratch that, a game winner against Cobble Skill. Rather, we got Jeremy Montrose averaging in double digits, a very good scorer. You got the man with the plan from downtown, Cormac Riley, leading Hunter in scoring on the season. And big Luka Jakic in the middle. On NYU side, you have 6'10", Bobby Hawkinson. He is a big dude in the paint. He averages 18 and 12. And John Peelan said we just have to try and slow him down. It's going to be hard to actually guard him one-on-one -on -one in the paint. So by shooting a lot of outside shots and by crashing the glass, you could do just that. Hunter's number one in the country in offensive rebounds and turnovers forced and in steals per game. They're second in scoring. They're ahead of Grinnell. Hawkinson will jump center with Cole Early. And they let them win it, and they can get on with it. NYU is 7-1. and one. They were 8-17 a couple years ago. Much better start. They go inside. Hawkinson lost it, gets it, and lays it in. It's all about pace and pushing. Hunter likes to shoot the three. They want to get into their sets early. They're going to be subbing a lot. New players coming in constantly. Early misses on the three. Here's Ephraim Reed. This is Zay Freeney. Mid-range shot off. And that looked like Bobby Hawkinson hit it last. Zay Freeney is a good shooter. He averaged about seven a game. He's thrown down several in-game dunks on the year. He's tasked with guarding the junior, Jared Brown. Freeney graduated top of his class in high school. Cormac Riley. That's a rare miss. He's at 27 long balls this season. That was his 70th attempt already. Here's Jacob Sussman. He's a very sharp shooter. Not on that one. Hawkinson rebounds. Sussman got run into by Cole Early. Unit number two coming in. Proper, Lau, Niarco, Low, and Gene Proper into the game. We talked about Sussman a moment ago. He's the second leading scorer for NYU. They're led by Dagan Nelson. He's the head coach. Graduated from Ramapo in 1996. Hawkinson up top. Ephraim Reed, the point guard. Missed it. Bobby. And it's tipped to Proper. Minute off the board. 2-0 visitors. Here's Hamazaki. Gene Proper. It's stolen. By the long arm of the law, Jacob Sussman. Here's a transfer from American University, Nick McCarchuk. As Ephraim Reed picks up the travel. You see, once again, double duty for John Garrett. You see him at the end of the bench. He is serving as the assistant for John Peelan in this contest. You got the Johns on the bench. Hamazaki to Ryan Lau. Bang! 3 2. Hunter. Early on. They bring the double to Hawkinson who does escape. Freeney up for Reed. Zay, Sussman fakes. Lau tipped it and Lau steals it. Nice pass ahead to Lowe. Niarko. Hacked by Ephraim Reed. He'll shoot two. All right, scratch that, excuse me. That is actually Bakari. Raheem Bakari wears 13, Joash Niarko wears 24, and now we know. So it's Bakari shooting the free throws here. Raheem, the first is good, 4-2 Hunter. Bakari on the season is now six for nine at the line. He started two games early in the season before Cole Early became available. Early was originally born in Shanghai, China. Went to a prep school in Ohio. Now he's in New York. 
Both free throws good. We say hello to Jokic, Niarko, Casey Myers, Elias Scott, and Hayden Belkin. Reed gets it for Sussman. Press has worked early. Reed dealt with some injuries a few years ago. Sussman, extra pass, Zay Farini. Light it up. 5-5. Five, five. Yarko, tipped, taken by Luka Jokic. To Elias Scott, heave ho, nope. The number one offensive rebounding team in the nation at 25 a game. Hunter has one there with Belkin. Kick to the corner, Niarko shot an air ball. Rebound to Hawkinson at 6'10". Belkin picks him up full court, pass out Nick McCarchin. Drives on Belkin, and the former Division I player at American University has a bucket. 7-5 NYU. Myers kicks, Niarko. Nice take, but he shot it strong. And he fouled Reed to exacerbate the problem. Hunter just one of six, saw it with the Lao three, NYU three of six. Hawks force over 30 turnovers a game. They have not played since we saw you folks last Friday against Baruch. Reed. Guarded by Early. They double McCarchick. Runs into a wall, can't escape, it's tipped. And another travel on Ephraim Reed who says, are you kidding me? Did I really travel, sir? Yes. Verdict is yes on that. That is the third turnover. Against the visitors. Jared Brown running point. He's done a great job sharing the ball, leading the team in assists. Puts it on the deck. Double team, couldn't get it over Hawkinson. You see Hayden Peak in the game, first sub for NYU. Greeny, extra pass, Bobby. That's a great foul by Jared Brown, who's giving up an entire foot. 5'9", Nate Robinson once blocked, 7'6", Yao Ming. This is not quite the same feat, but for Brown to force Bobby to the free throw line is very well done. Hawkinson on the year is 68%. 25 out of 37. See if the bleacher stomping works. It's getting progressively louder. It's the first. When you're Hawkinson's height, you're kind of leaning over to shoot your free throw. It kind of looks like Papa shot with how close you're able to get your arms toward the basket using the length. He missed one. Jared Brown saves a point for his team. Montrose had happy feet, turnover. Montrose averages 11 a game, and he is fourth with 11 threes made. Sussman to the bench. Kavika Akina has entered for the Violets. The only loss this season to Hobart. Hunter, meanwhile, at three and four. They get it in for Hawkinson. Akina couldn't get it away clean. And Jay Freeney was out of bounds when he tried to knock it off of Lau. Good defense on Hawkinson. Amazaki's guarded by Freeney at the top of the key. Hiroki whips it across to Bakari. Nope. Lau with the rebound. Dribbles behind the line and a reset. 8 5 is the score. Visitors in front. Here is Luka Jokic. Over to Lau. Not that time. Another rebound for Bakari. 
Third opportunity. They lead the country with 25 offensive rebounds a game. Hamazaki over to Lau. 10 to shoot. It's rare the clock runs this low on Hunter. Bakari inside. A deuce. 8 7. Four and a half minutes off the board. Very good defensive start for the Hawks. Hawkinson. Double comes, and he gets it for Freeney. Hayden Peak. Luka Jokic. No way. Great D by number 22. Proper got it to Jokic. Shoots a three. No. Still looking for his first hit of the season. But everyone has the green light. And they're going to get a foul. No, a travel on Hawkinson. By putting pressure on him and not letting him make clean passes, they're making his life very difficult. 30-second timeout, NYU. Count to 30 and you'll hear my voice again. We'll be right back. Hawks are playing some good basketball through the first five minutes. Down seven. The defense is in order. Hunter is 3-1 and one when topping 100 points. They're 0-3 when they don't. Second in scoring. First in turnovers. Fourth. Eighth in steals. First in number per game. Twelfth in three-point attempts. Third in three-point makes. Elias Scott on the drive. Gets it to Belkin. Joash Niarko. Over to Elias Scott. On the tick. Good D by Hawkinson. A push to Riley Demps, who's come into the game. As has Matichuk. <laughs> Belkin. Yeah, hey. From downtown, 10-8, Hunter. Great looking shot. Demps on the drive. Kavika Akina. And Hawkinson gets wrapped up by Livonia native Barrett Lowe. That was Hayden Belkin's first three-point basket in two years. Nice to see. It is his 11th make on 27 attempts. The returning players from a few years back, Al Brown. Hawkinson cannot hit both again, missing the second. Hunter. Cole Early. Over Bobby. Back. Cole Early, 12 9. Good guys. Hawkinson got fouled. That's Cole's second. No, it's actually on Jared Brown. Here comes six foot nine Harrison Watley. He's only averaging, if you take a look. It's very quiet in the stat sheet. He averages four points and three rebounds. And another foul. That's Hunter's sixth. They're gonna be free throws all half long. That's six. You only that's all you get to give. But Watley sets good screens. Very good cutter. And a very smart passer. South Carolina. Demps has it. Violets are down three. Watley, Matichuk. There's that soft touch. 12 11. Montrose will put it on the deck. Jokic to Cormac Riley. No. 
Aquina. Matich up denied by Luca. And now, here come the Hawks. Brown lost it, it comes out to Jokic. Cormac, side dribble, Brick. Not going. Akina. Matich up fake. That's a travel and a half. Bench unit back. Hunters now for six turnovers. They've only committed two. This well, they did start very even for the first about 15 minutes, and then the Bearcats ran away with it. Hamazaki gets it out for Lau. Hiroki Hamazaki from downtown. 15-11 in favor of the Hawks. Riley Demps with a left hand. Nice looking layup. 15-13 in transition. Ryan Lau got whooped and he'll shoot two. Now, we can talk a lot about transition offense, but that was very nicely done, where you give up a basket. You don't always see this. You see teams push. They got it to allow, they got open space, and they had to commit the foul to slow them up. They'll hit the free throw, too. He has one more to come. Ryan Lau, when he was 10 years old, was interviewed by the New York Post during Linsanity. Professional point guard, Lau with the both. Jason Weingarten lauded Ryan, brother Jason Weingarten's father used to really like what he could do, and Ryan always wanted to be the next Jeremy Lin. They interviewed his teammate, Michael Horn, who was playing for the Lunar NYC men's under 18 team. So always cool. If you go back in the New York Post in the 10 years, you'll find a Ryan Lau interview. And if you fast forward 10 years, you're going to see Alec Matichuk hit a very nice spinning basket. We'll have to inbound again. Not quite sure what happened there. Seventeen, fifteen, Hunter. Twelve, eighteen to go. First half. Zach Weiss with you at the Sportsplex. Purchase will come to town on Monday to make up the game from two weeks ago. Casey Myers. That, that was actually out of bounds. They didn't call it. And Elias Scott with a miss. Jakic the rebound, turning and scoring. When the ball down, the officials missed it. So it's two free points for Hunter. Pretty much. Falcon guarding Akina. Myers brings the help. Jacob. Sussman, nope. Matichuk on the follow right over the top of Belk. 19-17, Hunter. Average margin of victory is 20 for NYU this year. Nayako for three. 22-17, home team. Nice crowd on hand taking this one in on this Friday night. Sussman lost it. Gets it back. Riley Demps. For Matichuk, nice fake, step back. Sussman, not having it tonight. Watley the rebound, turnaround. Jokic gets the rebound and gets fouled. Better. <laughs> so from Dagan Nelson. NYU coach, keys to victory, we're valuing the basketball and defending the three-point shot while playing at our pace. The Hawks have hit four threes on 14 attempts. Seven turnovers, they've only forced two. The pace has definitely favored Hunter. Early, Cormac Riley, no, tipped out. Freeney, and that's gonna go off Watley. Watley is supposed to grab that loose ball, not tip it out. 22-17 game. 
Hawks have looked good. Jared Brown lost the ball in traffic. Freeney up ahead for Demps. The ice Euro step. Riley Demps getting fancy on a Friday night. Cormac Riley is still scoreless. He's 0 for 4 from downtown. Now he's going to put it on the floor. Cross court to Cole. He's out of bounds. Karchik is back in from a teacher. Riley Dems continuing to play at a high level for NYU. Four year high school player, three time all district, two time all metro and all state. He's from Louisiana. Sussman missed. And Harrison Watley did use his size correctly that time. Getting in for two. Hamazaki for Lau. Hiroki does have a three in the half. Using Luca's screen, puts it on the floor, kick to Lau in the corner. That was a kickball by Demps. Hawkinson will come get Watley. Bobby has six double doubles in eight games. They go to Jokic, who puts it over Bobby. Nice little hook shot for the big man, Luka. 24-21, Hunter. Sussman. McCarchick hesitates, turns, sets, cash out. McCarchick has his 12-3 of the season. That's third on the team. Proper to Lau in the corner. He faked, drive. Jokic up and under, no, tip, no, again, yeah. Luka Jokic coming alive, 26-24, Hunter, as both teams are finding the touch right now. Hawkinson, spin, Jokic tried to take the charge, Hawkinson avoided the contact, smart play. Bakari, Hunter's on fire! 29-26. Be right back. Oh, it's just a sub timeout. So the Hawks are in a groove. They've hit four of their last five shots. They're now five of 16 from downtown. Bakari with a game high seven points. Bakari Chickle inbound. Reed is back in, so it's all starters NYU. Bakari Full speed, missed it. Belk in the rebound, saved to low. Hunter's in business. Bakari gives it. Elias Scott stepped out of bounds. That won't count. He played at Medgar Evers for a year, and now here he is as a Hawk. Switching within the CUNY. Reed. Sussman hasn't scored yet tonight. Cross court, McCarchick, extra pass, Zay Freeney likes the corner. Tied at 29. Nice shot for Zay. He's got six. On the other end, Myers. Missed it off the glass. They're gonna say it touched Barrett low last. Fifteen to go, first half. Zach Weiss with you at Hunter, 29 apiece. Sussman, Freeney, corner, nope. 
And that is off of Jared Brown. Not to try and jinx it, but a great trend for Hunter. Luka Jakic, who averages four fouls a game and fouled out of last Friday's game, is yet to pick one up today. Well, he's added six points, six rebounds, and a block. Hawkinson. Freeney. Luka. Sorry I said anything. That's his first foul. You're never supposed to mention something good if it's going on and has not yet been brought to light. So in that case, we could talk about how good a free throw shooter Zay Freeney has been this year. Didn't work that time. He hits the first. Freeney's had some good moments this year. Eight and a half points a game, good for fourth on the team. He's a 39% shooter, but 40% from deep coming in. Zay hits both. The resume coming NYU by way of Phoenix AZ. Mountain again, graduated. Pro-rated GPA above 4.0. High IQ on and off the basketball court. Riley over to Jared Brown. The defense of NYU has picked up a bit. Cormack on a drive into Bobby. Missed it. Loose ball. Taken by Jokic. Cole early fake. Step back. Nope. And a foul against the Violets. Their fourth team foul. They'll go on Ephraim Reed. Great job by Jokic to keep that ball within his reach. It's his seventh rebound, his fourth offensive. The number one offense. And so they actually fouled Cole early, perhaps on the three, and it was just a late whistle. He misses the first. It was a three shot foul, so two more to come. Early misses on the first. He averages 11 a game. Hits the second, he's now eight for 17 at the line. This one could tie the score. NYU 12 for 26 from the field, Hunter 10 for 31. And Cole Early gets two out of three to tie us at 31. Here's Holt Bashinsky in the game for the first time. He's from Illinois, he's provided good minutes. Here comes Hayden Peek. Luka, oh, Luka Jakic was in a position to take the charge and he still gets called for the block. So that's his second foul in the last minute. May have leaned into the contact a bit. Maybe, I think he looks like he set himself a little too early on that one. Not a bad idea. Thought for sure that would go the other way, but nevertheless, Hayden Peake has a free throw coming. He missed the start of the season. The sophomore from Poughkeepsie, up near Marist and Vassar. He hits it. NYU five for seven at the line, Hunter six of seven. Low. Over to Lau. Proper. Bakari fakes, kicks it out, proper. Hiroki Hamazaki shot a brick off the backboard and off. Zayfrini missed. Hawkinson. NYU has their largest lead at five. Neither team's led by more than that. Barrett Lowe thought about it, now gives it to Gene Proper. No. Loose ball. Hamazaki tracks it down, gives it to Lau in the corner. 36-34. Ryan Lau with eight points off the bench. Timeout, NYU, six and a half to go. Violets lead 36-34. This is second timeout. Don't stray too far from the screen.
Jokic, Niarko, Scott, Belkin, and Myers into the game. It's Ryan Lau up to eight points. Jokic has played a team high eight minutes. He plays two thirds of the minutes. Barrett Lowe gets the other third. Freeney, they kick to the corner, but Shinsky. Nope. Hayden Belkin boxing out. And Myers, Luca, deep three. Fox, his first of the year. Six zero Hawks run Hawkinson. Skeeta Farini. Don't let off to a quick start. Jokic puts it on the floor this time. Scott crossover and a travel on Casey Myers. That's only the sixth Hunter turnover. Riley Dempsey into the game replace. Holt Bashinsky was a senior captain, big on the stock market, and he wants to work in finance. Go figure. 39-37, NYU is in front. Hawkinson puts it on the floor. Now gets it ahead to Freeney. McCarchick fakes the pass and misses from in close. Jared Brown on the run out for the home team. Cormack. Barrett low. Everybody gets one. 40 39. Hunter. And it's stolen. Montrose. Offensive foul. They're up one. They got the steal. And they wanted something fast. The charge is what they get. Hunter is ahead 40 39. As Montrose will pick up the offensive foul, which will be his second. Double bonus rest of the way. Hawkinson under pressure again. Freeney controls it. Demps, peak fakes, collects, missed. Jeremy Montrose the rebound. And it rims out. Barrett Lowe picks up number two. We might be getting some Ernie Parada minutes, maybe even some Alan Bang minutes, if that persists. That's two on Luca and two on Lowe. Seven turnovers on the Hawks, eight on the Violets. So they haven't been turning the ball over. They're 15 of 33, Hawks 13 of 36, eight for 23 from downtown. There are some great shooters on this Hunter roster, and everyone really, as Demps, it's the first. It's hard only playing these short bursts, it's gotta be. Especially, you know, Luka Jakic who's used to playing a lot more minutes a few years ago. But you come in, you run around, you do whatever you want, pretty much. If you're open, you just, just chuck it at the rim and hope for the best. And they make a lot of them. And you pretty much can avoid foul trouble for most of the game. You keep the other team guessing and you're fresh the whole time. A lot of benefits. Bakari gets it to Jokic. 30 feet from the basket. Hand off. Lau. Rims out. Matichuk collapsed the rebound. Collects the rebound, excuse me. Did not collapse there. Perini. Euro inside, Watley kick, peak, 15 to shoot. Double comes, Watley, Farini switching hand there. Zay Farini, what else you got in your bag? 43-40 NYU, four minutes to go, first half. Demps is guarding Luca. Bakari fakes, takes, makes. 43-42, Violets. Watley sees the double again. Zafrini. This is a warm-up for him. He's got 15 on five for eight. 
Gene Proper on the other end is going to leave it short. Maticho kicks it out for Peak. And Maticho had it stolen. Hiroki Hamazaki. Down the lane, lays it in, Hiroki. It's just a sub timeout for Coach Peelan. It's 45-44 NYU, what an exciting first half. Hawks have just three steals down from their high number. If you want to talk about steals, look up the name Calvin Cheek. He plays at New England College. He has 70, four, he has over 70 steals this season. He's never had less than four. He had 13 steals in a game. 13 steals in a, and that was kicked out of bounds by Demps. Can you imagine, you steal the ball 13 times in one game, not a video game, but for real. Calvin Cheek has been incredible. Over 70, more than double the next. Myers from the parking lot. 47-45 in favor of the Hawks. Matichuk lays it in against Barrett Lowe, former Division II player at Southern New Hampshire. Scott, oh, Harrison Watley, ferocious. Pashinsky will come get Watley. So they're going very small. Hawkinson, by the way, is a very quiet eight points and six rebounds. They've really held him in check. He's on pace for his season averages, but he hasn't dominated the game by any stretch. Dagan Nelson's liked his team's progress. He said we need to continue to work. Not committing lazy, undisciplined, and out-of-position fouls. We're improving. We need to improve our defensive angles, guard the ball. As Cole Early stepped on the line. And we need to stay balanced. And the big key for winning from Coach Peel when he has to make a lot of threes. Win the offensive rebounding battle. And if we're shooting twos, they can't use their size to just grab the rebound. Threes. It's harder with the triples. Pashinsky tipped by Early. So they've made nine threes, have the Hawks. NYU has been lifted by Zafrini's 15. Bakari leading a team effort with nine on the other end. Peak all the way, shot it strong. Akina the rebound, muscles it up over Jared Brown. Kavika, he's from Hawaii, he's got his first field goal. Montrose handled by Jared Brown. Looking for Cormac and it's stolen. Peak took a few steps. No travel is called. Demps inside. Matichuk has 10. Back and forth we go. NYU 51, Hunter 47. This is very reminiscent of the Pratt game on the road to start the season. Montrose misses. Akina for three. NYU all of a sudden has their largest lead at seven, 54 47, minute 25. Brown throws it away. Why is it important that Jeremy Montrose touched that ball instead of letting it go out of bounds? So it was going to be a turnover. Place of inbound. They will not inbound under the basket, but on the side now. Hawkinson for Bashinsky. So NYU now on a 9-0 run. They've also made six of their last seven shots, shooting 53% in the half. Matichuk, very eager to get that wet spot, ran over. Grab the towel, runs back, and now he's doing his second shift. And 
an aggressive roll back toward the sideline. Maybe he's got some bowling plans later. Exactly what that toss looks like. Minute 16, 20 to shoot. Actually, it should be a, it's supposed to be a full clock. They reset to 20. Riley Demps fakes, drives in, peak. Hunter really needs a stop. And Hawkinson won't let him get one. 56-47, largest lead for NYU. Gene Proper. They cannot get one when they need one. Matichuk missed it. Barrett low the rebound. Bakari on the run out. Lost it. And Aquino with a steal. 11-0 run. Kavika. Bakari dribbles out. That is not a smart shot. What a quick. Oh, no fouls called. Aquina. Hayden Peak. What just happened? NYU is suddenly ahead by 14. We were tied a minute ago. Last shot of the half. Barrett low. Shoot it. Wow. And it was tied two minutes ago, but it's 61-47 NYU as we go to the half.
Second half, Ed Hunter, Zach Weiss with you. We were tied at 47 with about three minutes to go in the first half. And then NYU scored 14 straight. They actually ended the half on a 16-0 run. It will be Hawks ball to start the second half as there were no jumps in the first. They had nine first half threes and some numbers. Riley Demps, a bucket away from tying a season high of eight. Zay Freeney's 15 points, a career high. Five made baskets tie his high. So Hunter is down by 14. See if they can find their offensive groove early in the second half. Cormac Riley didn't have a point in the first. And oh, how, how quickly that changes. Jared Brown finding Riley on cue to make it 61 to 50. He's got his first points. Freeney to Ephraim Reed. Shot it strong. As soon as the ball lands in Hawkinson's lap, that's pretty much it. 63 to 50. He now has a double-double, 12 and 10. Montrose gonna drive in on Sussman at one. Muscle it up, muscle it in. Flex, free throw to come. So Jeremy Montrose and Cormac Riley each had zero in the first half. They both scored in these last couple of moments. Hunter got 34 of their 47 from the bench in the opening half. I mean, it makes sense given all the line changes. But they do need more from the starters. Montrose misses on the free throw. Sussman into Jokic. So that's three players that zero points in the first half have all scored in the first minute of the second. Matro with a long three. No. Cole early the rebound. Finding Jokic. Missed it. Montrose throws it behind his head. No need to get fancy. Turns it over. Freeney working on a career high. It's wide open. Nope. Luca the rebound, up to Jared Brown. Montrose will get free throws. Hawks six of eight at the line. Violets seven and nine. It's very good that Hunter able to get a couple early buckets in the second half, find something early. Coach Peelan said they don't want to play from behind. The Violets are a tough team and you don't want to have to come back. You want to keep going, stay at their pace. As Montrose hits the first, said we have to keep the pace going. We need to grab rebounds. Those were two of the keys. They have a size edge. And we want to keep running up and down, get them tired, make them go deeper into their bench. Montrose got a move. 65-54 NYU. Hayden Peak has entered for Jacob Sussman very early in this second half for NYU. Reed with a floater. No, but they let Hawkinson get another rebound. He has 14 and 12. This is where he starts to impact the game if you're not getting rebounds. Got to box him out. Amazaki spin move and Hawkinson blocked it. That's only his sixth rejection despite the tall frame of the season. And up ahead, peak jam session. 69-54 NYU. Proper got fouled. That's already three on NYU this half. Hunter could do well to get to the line a lot. There are sometimes stretches where Coach Peelin will go to two units instead of three. But that has not yet happened today. He likes what he's getting from everybody. Proper, Scott, and Brown, the only scoreless players. If it ten threes. Scott handles the inbound. Takes it inside. And lays it up over Big Bobby. 69-56. Hawkinson throws it ahead to Freeney. And Hayden Belkin, always been in the right place at the right time on defense. Throws an alley-oop to Jokic. Coach Peelan is not happy about that decision. It was 
a great steal. They wanted to try something crazy and make the SC top 10. Belkin tips it. Step through pass. Peak. Bobby. You mess up on the alley-oop and you give up two quick ones the other way. Myers. Jokic fakes the three. That's it. They missed the kick ball. And Ephraim Reed lost it. Ball don't lie. So if that alley-oop play had worked, you might see a very different coach peeling. You know, it, it makes sense. You get mad when you see that happen. You're down by 15. Well, it would electrify the crowd. It's only worth two points. You don't need to throw a lob. Not like that, at least. Riley gives it to Barrett low. Cole early. No. Violet's currently up by 15. That late run in the first half. Still giving them a nice cushion. There's a nice steal by Cormac. Riley, here comes Jared Brown. Stepping around, he got his first bucket. JB, 671, 58, 16 and a half to go. They triple team Hawkinson, ultimately a foul gets called. Matichuk into the game as Jared Brown picks up his third. 19 of 54 for Hunter, 29 of 53 for NYU. Each team has 13 turnovers. The Hawks force an average of 31. Zafrini, reverse. They're going to give Low a foul, his third. He ain't happy. Three on Brown, three on Low. Five for five at the line this year. He's got a career high 16. So for the Hawks, they need to string together stops. Well, they've scored 11 this quarter. They've also allowed 10. That 14-0 run to end the half is the difference on the score. One more. Six of six. Zay Freeney is playing some great basketball. Hamazaki to the corner. Bakari can't handle. Dems a steal. Matichuk just lost it. They have numbers the other way. Ryan Lau in the corner. Can't be missing that. Freeney. Matichuk missed it. Freeney is there. So Jakic did a good job to contest, but no one had the rebound. Zay Freeney has 19 points. That's his first non scoring stat, his first board or assists. Lau, extra pass to Proper. Missed. NYU is cooking. They're all of a sudden ahead by 17 with the ball. Demps, Freeney, no look pass. Hayden Peaks wide open. 78 to 58, Violets. Bakari, Euro step to the bucket, he'll get free throw. larger role here. That first free throw makes him the first Hunter player in double figures. Gives him <laughs> the 
860. Bad guys in front. Chuck over to Hawkinson. Demps whips it inside. Matichuk couldn't get it over low. They cannot stop that man. You put up all the wanted posters on the wall you want. Bobby Hawkinson is still going to get away. That right there was his 14th rebound. He has 18, he has 16 points rather. He's made the first free throw every trip. It's his third trip to the line. He hit the second one each of the last two. This time he hits two. Hawkinson has a season average of 18 points. 14 rebounds are a bit higher. It's been very good. Barrett low, wide open, his second three. 80 to 63, NYU now. Still up 17. Alley oop! Oh! Hayden Peak, no, that was a very well designed play. It looks like it was more set. Scott, the foul's on the floor. Not a bad idea. If Hayden Peak threw that down, the momentum might have carried them the rest of the way. We've seen two teams try alley-oops, and both teams come up unsuccessful. But wow, you imagine that one. Talk about reaching the peak. That's what Hayden almost just did. Brown couldn't connect with early. Kavika Kina on the steal. Takes it all the way, shot it strong, and Luka Jokic takes the rebound. Jared Brown up for Cole early. Should have shot that one. Up ahead, Depps. Can't make mistakes on transition possessions if you're Hunter. Riley, side dribble. No. Watley grabs it. Peek. Try to... Hayden Peak is out here trying things. Hayden Peak is treating this kind of like a trick shot contest that is live on YouTube. And he's tried first, and you're only doing this kind of thing if you're up big. And you can try and dunk on somebody, and this isn't the pros necessarily, as Peak will hit the first. It's not a good game. Now got 12 points off the bench. But he tried to poster. Montrose after trying the alley-oop dunk. So we're seeing everything in his bag. He'll miss the second free throw to allow Jakic to get his ninth rebound. The lead is 20 for NYU. Montrose fakes, drives in, and muscles it home, 83-65. The thing about this Hawk system, it's not over till it's over with how much quick scoring they can do. Peak Akina, nope. Watley rebounds, missed. Good D by Luca. Montrose has it. He's got early to his left. He'll take it himself and knock it down. Jeremy Montrose has nine in the second half after zero in the first. Watley had it stripped by Cole. They get it over half court. And Watley into Jokic. Luka picks up his third. Harrison Watley has four points in eight minutes. Sussman enters for NYU. He'll get peak. Sussman's only played eight minutes. Peak at 18. Big man puts it in. But go McCarchick at center. He's only logged 14 minutes. About half. 86-68 NYU. Hamazaki gave up the basketball. Euro step Matichuk. Call it James Harden. 
Bakari inside, no. 88-68, ooh. Hamazaki goes into the scores table. He's back into the play. Akina fakes. A whole lot of passing. And Akina with a miss. McCarchick, no, Barrett, low rejection. Ryan Lyles called for a charge. Can't believe it. He's not happy. Couldn't make much of a move. He's really not happy with that call. He walks right away, smart, doesn't want to get a tech, doesn't want to give up anything else, but NYU is, is locked in. Now shooting 47% from three, 53 from the field, 81 at the line. As Bashinsky re-enters, it's 88 to 68. Big lead. When Hunter forces turnovers, everything is great. That has not been the case. The turnover margin is zero both ways. McCarchick inside, Sussman. Nope. Belkin grabs it. Niarko. Nope. Yakis chips it to Hayden. 88-70, Belkin bucket. Sussman inside of the second field goal, 90 to 70. Myers dribbles through traffic. Jokic fakes. Elias Scott, nope. Long rebound. Belkin couldn't save it. Leading all scores with 19. Long pass. It's Freeney. Because NYU has been taking care of the ball this half as Sussman misses on the three. McCarchick takes the rebound. Hawks haven't really had extra possessions and a chance to go on those runs that we're used to seeing as Bashinsky will not miss. 93-70 was that run at the end of the first half that set the tone for everything. In transition, Cole Early answers back. It's 93-73. Freeney up ahead. Not a rare miss. And they're going to get a, a foul on Jeremy Montro. Oh, wait, who's that one on? It's on Jared. If it's Jared Brown, it's number four. It is. Brown has two points, a steal, and two assists in ten minutes. We've seen eight minutes for Scott, Niarco, Myers, and Belkin. Ten minutes for Brown, Riley, Montrose, Early, Lau, Proper, Bakari, Hamazaki, and Lowe, and Jokic has played 18. Sussman hits the first. He's got five points, make it six with the two free throws. Hawkinson in for Sussman. Make a triangle around Hamazaki as Freeney touches it last. NYU plus eight this half. Proper brick. I'll stay. Oh no! Akina saved it. It's going the other way. Right off the Hawk player. Up ahead to Freeney, don't let him. He has dunked many times, they're not gonna let it happen this time, but he does get a good looking three. Nope. 
Proper got pushed, and they saw it. What? Ooh. They did call it as such. Holt picks it up. Double figure scores. Peak Amatichuk with 12 off the bench. Hawkinson 18, Freeney 19, and for Hunter 11 for Bakari. Their only scoreless man, surprisingly, is Gene Proper. Bakari flips to Lau. Shot it strong. Outlet. Freeney. First career 20 point game, he's got 21. NYU is ahead by 24 right now. Kickball, McCarcher. Full timeout, Hunter. So talking to Dagan Nelson about the newcomers. He said our depth and offensive balance have been big keys and will continue to be as we move forward as we tell our guys the strength of our team is our team. Alex, Zay, and Jacob have all made solid contributions through eight games for it. That's Matichuk, Freeney, and Sussman. You wanted to win the pace. You wanted to force turnovers. You wanted to score at will. That has not exactly happened for Hunter. As you see them down 24, 947 to go. Yeah, the final 10 minutes shake out. Marco. Barrett low. Got it again. Barrett low, three for three from deep. How's that for a backup center? Ephraim Ree back in the contest. Gives it up for Bashinsky. Now you got the basket. You need to string together baskets and stops. Blocked by low. And he grabs the loose ball. Takes it the other way. Leaves it for Scott. Oh no, you can't miss that. Eurostep Hawkinson? He's 6'10. 99 76 with nine minutes left. A lot more scoring is still going to happen. Zay Freedy with a quick hand. It's his first steal. Eurostep. Everybody's going to Europe and learning the new move. Eurostep galore. Scott into traffic, picks up a charge. So with eight and a half to go, NYU is already over 100 points. NYU scored 99 against Marywood. They scored 95 against York, 91 against Old Westbury. This is their first time at 100. There's a steal by Hunter and a Jeremy Montrose miss from downtown. Peak steps in. Nope. Rebound Cole early. And that's an and one for Cole Early. Never late, always early. 101. Free throw to come. Originally from Shanghai, prep school in Ohio. Average 10. Academy. Couldn't make the free throw, alas. Sussman has the quick touch. Missed it. 
Jakic saves. Oh, Hawkinson goes to the... Montrose was out of bounds. Bobby Hawkinson, what a dive. Might want to change the swimming and diving if he can get do it like that. That's impressive. Might need a, might need to become a multi-sport athlete now in his final season. He was playing with Cade Hoppy a few years ago. Cade Hoppy is now a musician. He's got a studio as well. They had Jimmy Martinelli. Of course, they still had Watley. They had a lot more bigs. Now they're just it's just a two big set by those standards, being taller than six foot six. But wow, Bobby Hawkinson, man. You gotta be impressed with that ability. So they're just checking the scores table to make sure everything was set, probably for the shot clock. And that's set. Matichuk for Makarchik. For NYU, for, or excuse me, the Hawks forced 31 turnovers a game, just 15 today. That's been a major key for NYU, is taking care of the ball and just getting shots on their possessions. Out of bounds on Sussman. Barrett Lowe has made three threes. Laos hit two, and then eight other guys have each hit one. Make that nine others. Amazaki inside, nice play. That's the 14th assist on 28 baskets for the Hawks. Hamazaki with four dimes. He sets up Bakari. Peak. Missed it. That's an H if you're keeping track of that horse game we mentioned earlier. Proper. To Barrett Low. Spinning. Kicking. Hamazaki with a left hand. 101, 82. Seven points, four assists, and a steal. And there's a turnover the other way. Offensive foul. Might just be a. It is an offensive foul. It's on Hawkinson. He pushed off loud to try and get the inbounds. Timeout, NYU. Full timeout. Back in a moment. Hawks making another push. So for Bobby Hawkinson, 20 points. It's the fourth time for NYU he's done that. Scratch that fifth time. The 16 rebounds are a season high. Double doubles in all but two games. Double digit rebounds in all but one. Back to it. 19. They're on a 6 0 run in the last minute. Bakari now has 30. To the corner, Scott. Fakes. In the traffic, just throws it up. Hawkinson with another. Demps. Sussman. 103 82. Seven minutes left. Jokic fakes, takes, and it rims out. One and one coming for Big Bobby Hawkinson. Is it Belkin or Jokic? Fourth. Now four, nine points, nine rebounds, and the team's only registered black. One and one. He's four of six at the line. It's in three of his last four attempts. Missed it. And the rebound is taken by Josh Niarko. Kicks it for Myers. Puts it on the deck. Hangs and misses. Hawkinson has one rebound away from a 20-20 game. 
Demps is fouled. Demps missed it. If he hits this one, we'll have a season high of nine. Zay Freeney has really given his team the lift today. He's got 23. Hawkinson with 22 and 19, but Freeney's early shooting got them really what they needed. Just separation. Damn splits. NYU 104, Hunter 82. The Hawks are winless when they go under 100 this year. Barrett low was three for three. That one may be a bit out of rhythm. Freeney throws it in to Bobby. Stripped, stolen, Brown. Bounce pass ahead, Cormac Riley in transition. No, he does not have the touch in this game. Akina from a T-Chook. Nice leaner. 14 points on just nine shots. Zay Freeney had a steal. And he's fast. Zay Freeney with 25. Montrose hangs, pumps, and scores. 11 in the second half. Second Hawk in double figures. 108 84. Stolen by Early. Steps back for a mid range shot. No. Bobby Hawkinson just grabbed his 20th rebound. 22 and 20. Akina, Freeney, Demps. That is how you move the ball, Akina. No. Matichuk pushed off. skill the year Freeney into traffic handled by Demps Hawkinson Freeney e off the rim rebound alone Ryan Lau, nope. Barrett Lowe floats it up and in. He has 11 points. Four of five shooting, also has 11 rebounds and a block. Freeney missed another. Rebound to Lowe, goes to the ground, able to save it for proper. Pull up three, won't go. from Reeds had a very quiet 10 minutes 0 for 4 with two rebounds Demps inside Matichuk, nope rebound to Casey Myers Jokic into the contact no, tip, no up again, yes, and Luka Jokic secures a double-double now 11 and 11 Demps inside, no. Matichuk takes it back. And Riley Demps was hurt on the play. Trainer is coming out.
Dems is taken out. Nice applause from the crowd as he is up. Thought he may have gotten fouled on the attempt. And for Jokic, meanwhile, this is his second double-double. He also had 21 and 12 against FDU Flora. NYU has Peek, McCarchuk, Sussman, Reed, Matichuk out there again with the towel. We saw him in the first half as well, showing off the non-basketball abilities. Although footwork and hand-eye coordination are actually tied into basketball, so maybe it's all actually tied to his ability on the court to do such things. Got the wipey out there now. Paper towel layer one. We got layer two. How many hand wipes does it take to clean the court? I believe we're at three right now, and that'll be enough. 350 left. The score is 11088. And Riley Demps was actually bleeding in his head, which is what they'll be working on right now. Hope he is okay. Montrose, banks in a three, 110, 91. The Hawks do look like they'll get to 100 for the fifth time, but it might be at this rate in their second loss as such. Double team comes to Reed and he's fouled. And a flop warning is also called on the play. First free throw is good for Reed, his first points. He started in seven games. But only plays 18 minutes per. He had been just two of five at the line before knocking those two down. Poor Mac Riley has just one basket night. Oh, the, he could have made the layup without all the extra extracurricular on that. Didn't need the extra move. Could have had an easy two. Wanted to shake it up a bit. Riley hit that three in the second half at the beginning. That's been all he's been able to do on the scoreboard. So Hunter will have another game Monday at six against Purchase. Meanwhile, here comes Sussman up the court. Playing it. He's got eight. The two teams had the same number of baskets prior to that attempt. Yak gets to proper too much on it. Hawks were number one in the country in offensive rebounding. They're nine below their average. Violets have grabbed 20. Bobby Hawkinson with a cool, crisp 22 points and 21 rebounds. Putting the UAA on notice. They're trying to get conference player of the week. Peak. Bang. It's their ninth three. Hayden Peak's got 15 off the bench. And... A team high, 25 minutes. Hawks are nine points from 100. We'll see, that's a threshold that is within reach. Jokic inside, hangs and scores. He has 13 points. Sussman can't save it. Yark for the team high, 23 minutes. He's 6'6", he's from Queens. Shared the minutes with Jonah Bavakwa a few years back after initially starting with him. Then they kind of platooned. He's at New Paltz now as Myers connects on a three, 
Two minutes to go. And there's a turnover. Niarco picks it up. Barrett Lowe is going to drive in. Unable to get the ball to Belgian. That was only the... Actually, they might give that turnover to Reed, not Hawkinson. Who only has one. Peak. No. Karchik whips it, stolen by Scott. Minute and a half remaining. Hayden Belkin. Nope. There's a steal. Belkin. Scott with a nice fake and a take, and he missed. Bobby Hawkinson has 22 rebounds to go with 22 points. Sussman for three. They have 120. NYU came to score, and that's what they've done. Hunters two baskets away from 100. Can they get there? Niarco is blocked by Sussman. Peak. Nope. Rebound low. Transition. He got it stuck. Timeout before that. Hunters, you need a full timeout. We have 37 seconds to go in the ball game. Hunter ball, two baskets from 100. That's the final goal of the day. It will be a defeat. NYU hasn't lost to Hunter since 02. Brown gets it in for Montrose. Montrose all the way, gets free throws. Dave Freeney with a career high 25. Hawkinson with 22 and 22. Matichuk added 16. First one's a miss. And anyway, could just hop on the six train, go downtown, and be back on campus. Of course, there are several campuses. Now, the Brooklyn building is an athletic facility, but an academic one as well. Washington Square Park, Union Square, Citywide University. Zafrini, one more time. 28! 28 for Zafrini. Hunter needs a three to get to 100. Cole Early lost it, and they may not get there. NYU only has nine assists on 47 baskets, but this is an incredible win. They'll be eight and one, tying their win total from two years ago. And for the Hawks, they'll drop to three and five. Freeney does shoot. Jokic, like they didn't count a couple rebounds. That'll secure his double-double, throws it away. That's the game. 123-97. NYU will take down Hunter. So that'll do it for this edition of Hawks Athletics. We'll see you on Monday. There was no game tomorrow with Mass Maritime. Excuse me, with just Maritime. No game tomorrow. We're back on Monday. See you there.